Good afternoon. This is Dwayne Crumley, pastor of Friendship Baptist Church, the little church by the road in Center Star, Alabama. I'd like to read you from the NIV. It's in Philippians, the fourth chapter. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether I'm well fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. See, a lot of people today that are worried and complaining and upset. Life is very stressful at this moment in American history. Uh, it seems people don't know which way to go and who to turn to. Prices are rising and people seem to be getting angrier, uh, less uh, tolerant maybe. People seem to be right on the edge. And as I talk to a lot of people, I tell them this. You need to go back to what the Apostle Paul said. He said, I have learned to be content. No matter what's going on in this life, he learned to be content. And his life was not easy. His life didn't, they didn't have what we have. They didn't have air conditioning or cars or internet or even plumbing. He was beaten, he was shipwrecked, he was uh, left for dead, he was snake bit. He, had all, he was thrown in prison many, many times. And yet he said, I learned to be content. How did he learn that? Well, he learned it by knowing who God is, by spending time with his heavenly father, by learning that his father was trustworthy, that his father always provided for him no matter what. And as we look around the world today and we see how bad it is, we tend to forget that God is still in control. He's still sitting on his throne. And if you go back to his word and look at all of his promises, when we look at the world, we ought to always remember that he promised to take care of us, to provide for us, to be there for us, to never leave us. He said, I'll stick closer to you than a brother. And as we think about these things, we need to take them to heart. We need to stop from our busy schedule, and run here and run there, spend time with God, get into his word, pray to him, but more importantly, listen to him. Listen to what the Holy Spirit will tell you. The Holy Spirit will tell you that everything is okay. You go back to the book of Job and Job lost everything he had. And yet at the end, he said, in the beginning, I knew about God. Now I know God. So in these hard times, see what God is trying to teach you. See what God is trying to reveal to you. The apostle Paul knew that he could trust God. Why? Because he'd been through the fire and God had never left him or never forsaken him. That's how he can say, I've learned to be content. He said, it doesn't matter what happened in my life in the past. I trust God for today because God has brought me to where I am right now. And listen, that's where God wants you. I just want to encourage you today that you can have that kind of peace. You can learn that contentment, but it's not with the flesh. It's with the spirit. And the only way to do that is in God's word. Let him change your heart. Let him provide the peace. Quit looking for peace anywhere else because you're not going to find it. And I'd like to invite you to the little church by the road. God is doing an amazing thing at our little church. We are doing everything that uh, the mainstream churches say you shouldn't do. And we're doing everything that God tells us to do. And the Spirit is so strong. And every Sunday is just amazing. We're having people come that uh, we didn't invite. We're having people that say, I don't know why I'm here. God just told me to come here today. So listen, if you're looking for a place that is different, a church that doesn't ask you for your money, a church that don't care your background or your history, a church that only wants to introduce you to Jesus Christ, then come to the little church by the road. We would love to meet you, minister to you, and help you achieve that contentment that the Apostle Paul had. 
by pointing you to Jesus Christ. Pray for us. Come see us if you can. If you have any needs, questions, just reach out to us. Thanks so much.